all the light after p.m. Are you afraid of darkness? <laughs> my first vivid memory from my childhood is back in the late 90s. In the village where I live, used to switch off the light after 6 p.m. I always wondered and still wonder why after 6 p.m. Because daytime, we had a light. <laughs> but it's not what I want to pay attention. What is much more important, how we spend those evenings without a light. <laughs> so, my father used to gather his children around, as he has six of us, and told true, sometimes fictional, stories. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow members and guests, do you remember storytelling from your childhood? Yes. yes. So am I. Some of the stories are as clear in my mind as if I heard them yesterday. I can remember who was telling that story, what it was about, what the actual words were, and most of all, how I felt listening to it. I was amazed when I read that 70% of what we learn is from stories. Makes perfect sense. The latest science tells us that stories, when we hear them, we produce the hormone oxytocin, and we instantly start to connect with the person that we are listening to. So if you want to connect with an audience, then tell a story. But why is it important to tell your story? It's because, first, stories drawn upon some universal needs. In some fundamental sense, we need stories. Second, story, like the more, one of the most powerful ways of inspiring others is to use one tool which you have, but no one else has, your life story. Your individual experience of a life is the most valuable asset you possess. And finally, telling the stories with mistakes, pain, failures, setbacks, as well as joys, victories, says something what it means to be a human. So stories can inspire us a lot. As a PhD student and advocate of the power of stories, I practice what I preach. The 15 minute speech I delivered at a conference a dual international conference for language, literature, and linguistics was directly from my book of life. It proved to me that people switch off when they hear too much information, data, or statistics. Punchy facts, figures are great when they illustrate your argument, but if you will add some personal stories, it becomes dynamic mix. Everyone has a story to tell. Usually it's not what you tell, but how. Putting yourself and your story at the forefront of your content, you will be asking others, and by others I mean the listeners, to do the same, like to share their stories. Everyone has a story to tell, and I love to hear yours. Woo